immediately. Holy shit. I feel numb here. Yeah. Right away, I feel light. I feel like my throat is numb. The trick is not to drink water. If you drink a water, you get more high. I don't want to get more high. I want to go back to normal. The psychoactive effects of this honey actually come from this. Rhododendrons. This flowering plant contains a group of neurotoxic compounds called grayanotoxins, which the bees ingest and which eventually make their way into the honey. Low doses cause your heart rate and blood pressure to drop. You may feel slight euphoria and lightheadedness, much as I feel right now. But higher doses. It's said that high doses can cause hallucinations and, in some rare cases, death. Can I taste? Yeah, please. The taste is it's very interesting because it's more watery and less sticky than regular honey. How do you feel? Good. Don't be nervous. Nervous make you more high. Sometimes okay. just relax. Yeah. I'm telling you so. <laughs> Good. I feel better. I cannot believe that just that little bit did something to me. I feel pretty cool. I think we should finish dinner and get some food in our belly. Today's meal is prepared with goat cooked three ways. First, goat barbecue. The meat is first marinated with salt, chili powder, masala, and Cuban powder. Skewer and grill. The meat is served with rice and fried jungle mushrooms. Just grab a plate, pull up a rock, and eat. Boom! <laughs> Sir? Food! Gentlemen, I ate some of the honey. How do you feel? I feel good and a little bit see the effect. And it, what is the effect like? A little bit calm and I can hear so clear for everything. Oh, that's a good point. I feel so calm right now. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if the effects are going to continue, but what I do know is we got all this food right here. All right, I'm going to try out some of this grilled goat. How often are you collecting honey? Apro Max around 15 times a year. 15 times a year? Yeah. Every time you do it, are you slaughtering an animal? He said most of the time they offer for the goat and sheep. Okay. Delicious. Very simple preparation, just some nice marination, salty, savory. It's got a great crunch on it. I think that's pretty darn good. Yeah. <laughs> Next, the goat curry. Fry the meat in oil, then spice it up with turmeric powder, chili powder, cumin powder, and salt. Simmer until it cooks through. These are fried goat organs, with all the offcuts tossed in a pan and sautéed in an abundance of gurung spices. Right here, we have some of the curry, we have some organs mixed in with the rice. Mm. This is delicious. This is such brutal work. I feel tired, and I didn't climb any ladders. What you guys do is so impressive. When you're finished, do you feel exhausted? Are you tired? It's okay. You're like a superhero. When is the last time that you yourself tried some mad honey? <laughs> the most latest is like he had 10 years back, he toiled a little bit, and then he didn't feel good and he stopped it. This is a part of mad honey that blows my mind is that it started here in Nepal and people around the world became aware of it and it became an industry exported to people outside of Nepal. Then I come here where it's readily available. It's probably cheaper for people here to buy it, but no one's doing it. And if they've done it, they've had some terrible experience. So my point is, it's an industry for people. It's a crop, it's a product, it's something they can collect, gather, and then sell. With a limited supply and ever-increasing demand, Nepal's mad honey is now among the most expensive in the world, selling for $60 to $80 a pound. Is there any way for people to increase the amount of product? No problem. What is it about the honey that's so valuable, that people want so badly? Many tourism are Korean. Really? The Koreans? Some believe it offers medicinal health benefits. And people say it cures some health, but not daily use, but once a year. While some just want to see if it's as powerful as they say. I talked to this guy. He was the one who owned the cliff where the honey is. I said, can you walk me through the experience? He said, I took a lot and I couldn't walk for 24 hours. I think we should try it out. And maybe it we start like shit. Wait, but, it sounds terrible. No, but if you do too much, it's shit. Are you sure? We got to find out, Joe.
Best Ever Food Review Show is a small team of independent creators, and everything we do here works because of you guys. Click the link in our description to join our Patreon and receive exclusive benefits. A piece. I'm in. That's a good piece. Yeah, <laughs> I think he's trying to do it like nice and slow for the camera. The ladies are loving this. You can start an OnlyFans. Kai, does it look like I'm high up? All right, if I get down alive, that's a good enough accomplishment. Uh, just fall down the rest of the way. Okay. So, um, what did I learned today? That takes a lot of skill. Holy cow, you gotta go barefoot too. Maybe next time I'll just go naked. Yeah, I think it's all these clothes. It's too encumbering. How do you know how much to take? Yeah, until you eat, you didn't know. That sounds really dangerous. The high test for me is look at my hand. If it seems really interesting, then I'm really high. Right now it just is mildly interesting. Boom, guys, that is the end of our Mad Honey video. And I am filming the conclusion on a different day because it got weird. I will not go into details, but I did not flash anybody. So there's that. Guys, that is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. A peace. All right, go Nepal. Mad honey, what else do they have that's mad? Mad sugar cane? Maybe a mad cheesecake? Ooh, I love a mad cheesecake. <laughs>